Today's video, we are delving in deeper to the whole bed issue in a van. So we're gonna give you some alternatives to a fixed bed. We've got a Murphy bed, we have a Happy Jack, electric bed lift, we have a convertible bed. We also have a pullout convertible bed that is kind of exciting too. Just went for a walk with a friend. It's nice being home to be able to do that. And we're gonna go home and start taping off our layout in the van. Well, come on. I thought you wanted a tour. Wait a minute. Let's go back a second. Before we show you what we decided to do with the van, we want to explain a couple things. One of the biggest issues that we've wrestled with since the beginning, which you guys all know if you've been following, is the whole fixed bed versus convertible bed. And we've actually decided 100% against a fixed bed. It just makes the van feel so closed off. My other big huge issue with a fixed bed, just in case I need another one, is that the van is 90 square feet, which is very big in van world as far as square feet. But if we make a convertible bed, we will actually gain an extra a 38 square feet of footage. And that'll give us a 40% bigger area to live in. And I'm totally cool with making and unmaking the bed every single day if I have to, to gain those extra 38 square feet. We've noticed that quite a few people that are watching our videos are not subscribed yet. So if that's you, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We're gonna be documenting our whole build and sharing our experience with you the whole way. In addition to that, if you see anything that you like, please hit the like button. You can also hit the notification button. It looks like a bell and that notification button will let you know every time we post a video. First off, a Murphy bed. And a Murphy bed is great because it just literally plops down on top of your couch seating. And then you've got this bed that is all made up and it's super easy. Um, the downside to having a Murphy bed is that it does take a little bit of the portion of the width of the room, uh, maybe about a foot or a foot and a half. We unlock the bed and then we pull it down. Welcome to our bed. So now it's time to talk about our Murphy bed. And this was something that we knew from the beginning we also wanted in the van. Because, you know, we don't want to be putting the bed up and down and, you know, filling up and having an extra cushions to make the bed or having a fixed bed. Just because I like to have friends over and I don't feel comfortable letting a bunch of people just sit in my bed. What if someone spills in my sheets? No, 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 no. Another fixed bed type option or a little bit closer to a fixed bed is a happy jack bed. And it's an electric bed lift that descends from the ceiling down and sits right on top of a dinette or any living area that you've created. And the bed is fully made. It's great because it just could not be any easier just with a push of a button and as long as you are good at installing electronics not sure that that's us but if you are you've got a perfect solution because that bed just flopped right down on your table and you are ready to go and in the morning you just push that button and your bed goes right up to the ceiling the one downside to a happy jack bed lift or an electric bed lift whatever kind you're using is that it does take some ceiling space so that means that the area where you have your dinette will probably not be a standing room area. So as long as you're just comfortable sitting down in that area, or if you're walking through it, you're just kind of squatting down, you're fine. But it will take about a foot, foot and a half from your ceiling height just in the bed space. Mainly what was important to me, um, which was hot water, um, a van that you could stand up in, plumbed sink, and a bed that you didn't have to pack down every day. 
there's been a lot of interesting questions over our bed lift system. So we'll start with that one. For convertible bed options, one of the most typical is what you've probably already seen where you have a dining booth and then that comes down and that converts by moving the cushions over and it becomes a bed. So that the benefit is you've got your full height, your full width, and you've got a great seating area. The downside is that you have to move around a bunch of cushions. You also have to find storage where you can hold your bedding. So we chose the layout of not having a permanent bed for a couple of reasons. So one, we don't have bikes or anything, so we didn't need that garage space that most people put underneath their higher up bed. We also just liked how open it felt to have windows and like the headspace to kind of walk around the van. It just made it feel a little bit more spacious and bigger to us. Also, we both have full-time jobs. So it's really easy to convert from our daytime workspace to our bed. Like, like this! this. <laughs> So our bed is in between a queen and a king in width, and it's like a little over six feet long. There's another type of convertible bed that is more like a futon type concept. It's a little bit different, but and people execute it different ways. But we saw one that was super interesting from Lewis the Van, where the platform pulls out from their couch area and then the cushions just slide down the way a futon would slide down. It's really easy, one motion, one person can do it all by themselves. And again, you still have to find space to store your bedding, but it's a really nice solution. Coming into the living area, we have a long seating area, three quarters of which transforms into a 72 by 43 inch bed using a slatted design. What's incredible about this particular design is that it's mounted to two high-grade drawer slides, each being rated to 750 pounds. Not only does this allow one person to pull out the entire bed unit without any unnecessary frustration, it also allows one person to be completely supported on a minimal floating extension. We are so happy we were able to make this design concept a reality since it allows the space to remain super sleek and refined in a way it wouldn't with the addition of supporting legs. Behind the bed are these three pull-down cubbies, which make a great place for storing bedding or laundry. During the framing portion of the build, we built these boxes into the walls, which really help capitalize on the behind bed storage. So are you wondering what we decided? We are going to go with the tried and true dinette area that converts by moving the cushions around. And the main reason for that is because we can get the biggest size bed. I want a bigger size bed. And what I like about it is that it kind of gives us three options where if we have the table in, it's a dinette with lots of workspace. If we don't have the table in, it could be kind of a couch type area. And we'd like to do the cushion at the end, so the part that goes near the door, we wanna make that a little bit wider so that it gives us more space to lounge around. And then last but not least, we can convert it into a bed and we'll be able to get ourselves easily a queen size bed without giving up a bunch of space to get that. So we've been making a little bit of progress on the van. We have our layout and now we are starting to work on our insulation. Guy is actually out there right now as we speak doing the floor and insulating the floor. Animal runs out before I ever even get out because he's so worried I'm gonna leave him. You trying to get out there? Whoops. And Guy's out here doing some work, yay. Thank you so much for watching today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. Um, we love having you guys here with us. Your feedback has been invaluable to us and we really appreciate you. We appreciate all the comments that you guys leave for us and we love that we're taking this journey with a whole group of people. These are the kind of activities that happen around this house. What are you doing, Mom? What am I doing? Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's pretty evident. Somebody's getting a manicure. Oh. Oh. Someone thinks this is their seat, don't they? The little boss man.